The NHL community in shock tonight. Johnny Goudreau of the Columbus Blue Jackets and his brother Matthew were killed during a bike ride by a suspected drunk driver. And the suspect now in custody. ABC's Morgan Norwood has reaction from the sports world. The hockey community mourning the shocking loss of Columbus Blue Jackets forward Johnny Gaudreau and his brother Matthew after the two were killed Thursday night, allegedly hit by a suspected drunk driver. According to police, the two were biking in Oldman's Township, New Jersey, near their hometown of Carney's Point around 8.30 p.m. when police say driver Sean Higgins struck the two with the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Authorities say Higgins admitted he had five to six beers before getting behind the wheel. Both Gaudreau and his brother pronounced dead at the scene. The two were in town for their sister Kate Katie's wedding set for today, both groomsmen. Johnny Gaudreau, affectionately known as Johnny Hockey, was a celebrated player on and off the ice. As a standout at Boston College, he led the Eagles to a national title in 2012 and went on to win the Hobie Baker Award as the nation's best collegiate hockey player. Matthew also playing for BC and various teams in the minors. Jerry York and Greg Brown coached the two brothers. Both boys, uh, Maddie and Johnny, or, or Remarkable young guys. Everybody knows Johnny because of the, the hockey and the Olympics, but their family was, was so just a, one of those unique families. Hockey fans in Columbus paying tribute. There's always that image that no star players wanted to sign with Columbus, and then Johnny came and it, it gave us hope. The Columbus Blue Jackets releasing this statement saying, quote, the impact he had on our organization and our sport was profound, but pales in comparison to the indelible impression he made on everyone who knew him. And this suspected driver, Sean Higgins, is being held at Salem County Correctional Facility. He's charged right now with DUI and two counts of death by auto, along with possession of an open container and consuming alcohol in a motor vehicle. Higgins is due back in court September 5th. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York.